Welcome to the lecture session on network analysis made simple. First, in this session, we shall consider the basic circuit concepts. For example, some of the basic circuit concepts that we intend to discuss are open circuit concept, short circuit concept, zero voltage concept, zero current concept. Effect of open circuit and short circuit on circuit elements and in any branch of a network. Further, another important basic concept is the meaning of zero current through the circuit element or zero current through the branch of a network. Double notation of node voltage, power delivered and power absorbed by the sources. Though these are the very important concepts, in this particular session, we discuss only on the open circuit concept. In addition to the basic circuit concepts, while solving any network, we use some laws and theorems. For example, we use Ohm's law, Kirchhoff's voltage law, and Kirchhoff's current law. As far as the theorems are concerned, we use voltage division theorem, current division theorem, and parallel branch theorem. These details are very much necessary and we will discuss these concepts in next sessions. Well friends, to understand the open circuit concept, consider an ideal switch which is open. We know that an ideal switch offers infinite resistance when it is open, zero resistance when it is closed. In addition to a simple ideal switch, let's consider an ideal voltage source of V volts. When we say ideal voltage source, we know that its internal resistance is zero. Let's form a simple circuit by connecting the voltage source directly across an ideal switch as shown in figure. If we find current flowing through the switch, we know as per Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R. The switch is open. It offers infinite resistance. Therefore, the current flowing through the switch turns out to be equal to zero. It is a simple fact. But another interesting fact is that if we measure the voltage across switch, we find that it is V volts. So, remember the switch is open, current flowing through the switch is zero, voltage across the switch is V volts. Yes, friends, now we are ready to define the open circuit 
concept in a very, very simple way. Remember the facts. The switch is open. Current through the switch is zero. Voltage across the switch is V volts. Meaning, a zero current through the circuit element and a finite voltage across it imply open circuit. We have taken here a switch. This concept can be extended even to any circuit element in a network. For example, consider a resistance. If current flowing through the resistance is zero and if there is a finite voltage across it, that resistance can be considered to be open. Is that the open circuit concept is simple to understand? Okay, friends, let's now take up a simple example to emphasize the concept that we have learned. Consider a circuit to find a current of I amperes in a 4 ohm resistance. By writing the Kirchhoff's voltage law equation for the loop, we get I is equal to 0. What does it mean? The current through the resistance is 0 because the potential across the two nodes of it are equal. That is, VAB is equal to VAC. Hence, we can conclude that when potential across two nodes of a circuit element or across the two nodes of a branch of a circuit, the potential across those two nodes will be equal if the current flowing through it is zero. To find the source voltage V2 in the circuit shown. We know that the current I is equal to zero in 5 ohm resistance. If you recall the open circuit concept, a zero current and a finite voltage across the resistance imply open circuit. This means the resistance of 5 ohms across which the current is zero can be considered to be a open circuit and we can draw the circuit implementing this fact that the resistance 5 ohm is open. You find a circuit redrawn by opening a resistance of 5 ohms. If you observe the result, you find that opening a resistance of 5 ohms results in two independent loops, loop 1 and loop 2. Current in loop 1 can very easily be found out and I1 is equal to 8 by 8 and that is equal to 1 ampere. This 1 ampere current flows through 6 ohm resistance and hence voltage across it which is VAB is equal to 6 volts. We also know that if current flowing through the resistance is zero, the potential across the two nodes of that resistance will be equal. It means VAB is equal to VAC. The result is we know voltage across two ohm resistance and then current flowing through it is 3 amperes. This current I2 will flow through the entire loop and hence by writing the loop equation we can find V2. 
the loop equation results in 6 plus 4i2 minus v2 equal to 0 and if you solve this simple equation we get v2 is equal to 18 volts. Hope you have clearly understood the concept of open circuit. Remember a zero current and a finite voltage across the circuit element or across the branch of a network imply open circuit. Thank you for watching.